Hi everybody, hi everybody, it's Bodacious Bichon back, The Boys, Season 3, Episode 1, here we go. First off, starts off Huey Campbell, right? Big transition, the whole point of it is, the whole point of, you know, the beginning I think is to show his big transition from Season 1, Episode 1, when Huey was working at a electronics store, had a girlfriend, Girlfriend got obliterated by a train just, just by going on a walk, you know. And then it shows his transition to where he is now. He's like a head of um, the bureau for like something defense of soups or something, um, some type of defense program or like I said, bureau against soups, right? He's the head of that. Dating Starlight. I mean. So he's got a glimpse of fame and then not even just a great job, a cool job, right? You're literally, you're, you're hunting down soups, you know, at least the bad ones, right? The ones that are creating trouble. Um, that's the first aspect you notice right away, right? But then you wonder, you're like, where's Billy Butcher? Billy Butcher shows up in the most butcher way, right? Just pulls up in the bathroom. It's hilarious to me. I... I was laughing. Now I was laughing a lot. Um, but it's pretty gory. Uh, a lot of sex. And then... Probably the next thing... Homelander. Man, they just show his... They show his... Um, he's reaching his you know reaching point. The, his max. Where he's just gonna explode. Go crazy. That's what I want. I want to see like a... I want to see a straight Omni-Man moment from Homelander, you know? And there was actually that one scene where I was like, whoa, that sounds like Invincible, where they were, I think the son was talking about having a dream of where Homelander, like, killed everyone and then killed him, pretty much destroyed the world, even into smoke and flames, right? I was like, wow, this is Amazon Prime, right? Of course, you can connect anything you want. My bad, I keep forgetting the camera's right here, and not here. <laughs> yeah, I don't do any cuts or retakes. I just like to shoot straight, right? That's what I do, that's what I like to do. Just be one of the, be one of the guys, right? The normal dudes. You know? And you know, the budget for my editing is, um, <laughs> yeah, not that high. But, okay, back. My favorite little Easter egg thing was Billy Butcher ordering Connect Four on his phone. Can you guess what he used to buy it? Amazon. <laughs> yeah, when when they showed him ordering on Amazon, I was like, oh my gosh, this is hilarious. Straight up self advertising, right? It's pretty funny. Um, yeah, it's hilarious. Uh, MM MM's retired Frenchie still works with Butcher along with his lady forgot her name but she's dope she's really cool I love her character um, yeah it's it's pretty great pretty great episode for the first one I'm not gonna I'm gonna probably watch the second one uh, when I can maybe tomorrow um, Best aspect of this episode was definitely Billy Butcher receiving the V24. You know, just to see him become what he despises, that that's going to be fun. Um, I think I know what powers he gets when he uses the V24. I, I'm not sure. If, I mean, I don't, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure he gets the, right, the laser eyes too. Or maybe he becomes just like him, Homelander. I don't. I'm not too sure, but I'm sure he gets the heat vision, which would be cool, right? Because his supposed nemesis is Homelander right now. But then you get a little confused by an altercation they have, whether where they stand as individuals. Um, Lily Butcher, Homelander, man, they need to show together a spinoff if things turn out in a good way, right? Very similar people. Homelander's the re the reject of 
the reject slash forgotten of the soups. He's kind of like just being thrown to the side, and then Butcher, as someone who hunts down soups, is actually, you know, told to do it a different way, you know. But it's just Bichon loves the boys. You should too. B24, bye.